Christmas Eve, everybody. It is currently 10 p.m. The babies are in the bed. I have got to go get all their gifts and come in here and put them around the tree so that way they wake up and got their Christmas presents. Now, this morning, we let them open one gift that I bought specifically for Christmas Eve and the stocking that my parents left. Um, we went ahead and let them have those this morning. It's just one little thing each. We are getting ready to put the big present together. And I'm super excited. We're just going to stick a bow on it, have it sitting in here in the living room up and ready to go. It's going to be a lot of chaos in the morning because everybody's just going to be waking up and they're going to go straight to this stuff while we're all like, I might try to get up sneakily and have me a cup of coffee first so I can be like functioning. But anywho, I'm super excited. I can't wait to see their faces. Me and Sean, mostly Sean, is going to sit here and be putting their big present together and then we are going to roll on to bed and wake up in the morning and see y'all then but for now let's get this going because i got a feeling it's going to take at least an hour that's okay though <laughs> that sucker's heavy i didn't think it would be that heavy you sure this isn't for our kitchen i'm lost too but it's sure. heavy i did not think it would be that heavy but <laughs> this one was a really good review. It feels like there's a whole kitchen in there. Yeah, it like is. Full -size it's, kitchen. it's a mini full size kitchen. Took a minute. Check this out. Here comes a little cube's eyes. Check these out. <laughs> They're gonna love it. Mm. I also got them some magnetic breads with little fake knives too to cut and some other stuff, eggs. <laughs> now I guess it ain't nothing but clean this mess up, off to bed, and wait till everybody wakes up in the morning. <laughs> Where's you running to, buddy? Whoa! Wait! 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 Wait on mama! What's... what's that? Wait! Bubba! Man, you wild this morning. Whoa! What is that? <laughs> Oh my goodness, where'd that come from? Cece, what is going on in here? Mumu! Hey, wait! Wait, 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 Cece! What is that? Wow! What's going on? Oh my gosh! Bubba! Bubba, look! Hey. Here. Whoa, Chloe. Wow, <laughs> You got your own kitchen? Sissy, what is it? Look. <laughs> you ain't even peed yet. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is early. I didn't go to sleep till two o'clock. I stayed up past that, me and Sean doing this, and so I just could not go to sleep. I laid there and tossed and turned. Last time I looked at my phone, it was 2.30. No, Bubba, that's Cece's. This over here is Colton's. Wow. Wow. What you got, sis? What is that? Look. Hey, you're not wasting any time. Wow. 
What's that? What is that? I'm half asleep, but Merry Christmas, guys. I need coffee. My mouth's so dry, I can't even talk yet. Wow! Ah, open it, Momo. Open these. <laughs> Listen, Linda, it's too early. Oh, you got some new clothes. What's oh. in there? <laughs> talking about ADD. Uh, Bubba, turn your burners on. He's got a radish hanging in the pot. Good job washing your hands. Good job. Hey, are we gonna open anything else? You washing your hands? Granny, say good morning. Morning. Okay, I would say that was a successful Christmas morning for everybody to be half asleep. Nobody got in too many arguments and cried. It does look like a um, Christmas wrapping paper factory exploded in my living room. But once I get all this cleaned up, Colton is obsessed with this kitchen. He loves it. Wow, what you doing? You cooking? Making bite bites? He is loving the kitchen. Chloe is too. Here. Oh, you gonna cut a tomato? No! All right. And they've got their eggs they can put in there. And I got them this to go with it. All the wooden fruit, and it's got cut board and bread. Of course, Mommy. we gotta have two of everything. It's like having twins. Well, I still got my morning hair going on. Seems like Christmas was a success. There's kids still got some more because mom's coming up here soon. Come to eat dinner. I got the bird in the oven. Kids have officially demolished the living room. Are you giving them babies a bath? Did they need a bath? Was they stinky? What are you doing? I'm making my homemade coleslaw. If you guys want to know how to make this, let me just give you a quick run over. I've done it before. You got your cabbage, I do green pepper and cucumber. It makes it taste fresh, promise. Carrot, onion, I mix mayonnaise with garlic salt, onion, celery salt, salt and pepper. And that is how I make my homemade slaw. And it is. I think you better be making this turkey some breakfast. No. Yo, I'm that weird kind of person. I don't like raw onion. I like a cooked onion, but a raw onion, I throw that stuff away. It's awful to me. And that's just me. You may like raw onions, I don't like them at all. Say Merry Christmas, Memo. Merry Christmas. Memo, come bearing gifts. <gasps> Open it. Okay, I'll help you. Memo got that paper like green. What'd you get? A magic color book? You uh -oh. open a mama's? Wow. A bottle of milk for your baby. Mom knows me. She knows I like lounging around in lounge pants. Look, and malls. Megan. Oh, oh all those are all yours. Oh. Okay. This is mama's. Wow, what's that? Oh, and hair rollers. <laughs> she said she wanted to go curly sometimes. I can't curl my hair, so this might actually work out good for me. Thank you. I can't wait to give you a picture with them. <laughs> I don't care. Sissy. Here, hey. Guys, we got the sweet potato casserole and the stuffing going in there. Potatoes are going. Turkey is done. I got the slaw already made. That's for the potatoes. And we got to put the rolls in. But after that, it'll be time to eat. I'm starving. The kids have been in and out of the kitchen 50 times. I think they're like past it. So I gave them a little bit of a snack. We had a living room at one point in time. Some of the OGs that's been here a long time. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Mountain Man. The kids got uh, stuff. Mama. <laughs> Mama. 
That's what memos are for. They got a frozen desk, got a Paw Patrol desk, got a big house. But she also got them bicycles, but then we're gonna go up to the building till probably spring. But Sean's got to do some adjustments to them and fix the handlebars and seats and all that. Oh, and we gotta figure all this out. There's just not enough space, too much stuff. I mean, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Looks like a toy bomb went off. Grateful and blessed. I'm gonna get these potatoes dumped and let Sean mix them up. He has to do the potatoes. He doesn't like the way I do mine. I put a little garlic in mine. He don't like that. I think it's good. Did you have a good Christmas? Yeah. What? You're kidding me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye are in the warmer. It's almost ready. Is that smell driving you crazy? Is it making you hungry? He's been in here 15 times. Baby! He's hungry. Baby! I want to redo this house mainly for the lighting. This is all we really got in this kitchen is this one. So you stand over here, you're dark. Did I run into you? Yeah, you sure did. Did I? Uh -huh. Well, Merry Christmas. There's our turkey lurkey and some mashed, homemade mashed taters. Look there, I even left the skin on them bad boys. Little mama's coleslaw. Got us some dressing and some sweet tater casserole. Got us some rolls in here. And I asked right, mom to remember one thing and she forgot to bring my cranberry sauce. Hey, I told you to go down and eat it. I'm blocked in, I can't. Did you know you started out as cranberry sauce? That was your very first nickname before you become Moo Moo. Oh, you a kidder catter? Yeah, she wanted to do the meow meow. I thought you was a dinosaur. That was for a second. You hungry? Yay! Yay, you need bye bites. Bye bye. Bye bye. It's 20 degrees. It's 4 o'clock in the evening now. What do we start this out? 7 o'clock? 6.45? I don't even remember. <laughs> like I said, I got wide-eyed last night after I stayed up with Sean to put that kitchen set together, and then I just I could not go to sleep. If I do that, I have like a time frame. If I don't go to sleep between 9 and 11, and I get hoot out again, I can't go to sleep till like 2 or 3. So I, I'm, I'm always in the bed by 10 o'clock at the latest. Well, that didn't happen last night. And yeah, so I got about three, four hours of sleep. I'm tired and it's cold. But anyways, what I was going to say is the kids have had a great Christmas. It's been a very nice day. Very thankful and happy. Definitely missing my mom and dad and my sister and my niece and nephew and all them. Their stuff was supposed to have been this earlier this week, but because of the ice and the snow, UPS, we're the last house in our hauler. You guys know, I've told you all that. It was out for delivery and then it said delivery delayed, so they couldn't get up here. So we'll probably, I'll run all their gifts over there sometime this week. Hopefully our road's still iced over out there. Maybe by the time the sun comes out tomorrow if it does and warms the road up it will melt the rest of the way off we've got to get out either way like tomorrow because we need drinks we're running low on drinks because we've been home for four days now and uh a few other things food wise we need to get we yeah we got to get out soon anyways but hopefully ups will get here tomorrow with the rest of their gifts i can get over there and do our little christmas with them missing them today too Mother Nature had other plans this year. You know how that goes. Just wanted to take a minute, 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 blah, blah, blah. Scratch that. <laughs> Just wanted to take a minute and say how thankful I am and how blessed I feel. You know, wasn't but just six years ago, me and Sean were on the 99 cent pack of hot dog weenies and ramen noodle diet. I mean, that was pretty much, you know, we were able to pay our bills and that was it. There was no extra. We've come a long way. I haven't forgotten those times though, but it is, it's a good reminder. I was sitting out here, I fed the cats and everything out here, but I was sitting here thinking, you know, how blessed we truly are because it wasn't very long ago that we couldn't even afford Christmas. It was just me and him then, but we couldn't even get each other anything. And you know, this year we were able to get the kids a big gift and a few things each and my parents and his mom and my sister and them so and mountain man of course he's up here all his family's down south so you know got him some stuff you know because he's all by himself up here he's got us but you know what i'm saying his his kids his mom all them they're down there that's a blessing. It does get a little chaotic with all the cooking and the toys flying everywhere and stuff. But regardless, at the end of the day, I'm grateful and I'm thankful. And I definitely realized how blessed we are. Definitely missing Jason this year. Papa. I know he's here in spirit. Feels different. Christmas is different when your loved ones 
that have Jason was my father-in-law so the last at least 10 Christmases you know he's been around so it's definitely a little different I know Sean's mom's really missing him today but anyways I'm gonna wind down for a little while I done got the kitchen cleaned up got all the food put away and made Sean's mom a plate Jeremiah didn't want one he was stuffed he's like I'm going home to take a nap but the food is put away and I think now we're just gonna relax the kids might nap I'm hoping at least for a little bit let mama wind down then later when they get up play with the toys some more show y'all some of that i gotta show you guys them cutting the stuff now they're learning they're figuring things out and it's it's absolutely adorable but for now we're gonna chill <laughs> set for them now when we take the tree down tomorrow this playhouse will be moved to this corner their desk i'm probably gonna leave in here because they like to sit in and watch tv and color and do their books and all that so but i've done a little reset for them that way they wake up in the morning got all their stuff colton you guys is he's becoming a chopping expert oh he had his apron on while he got his glove <laughs> and he just he was chopping away man he was for like, hours man, he's better than i am it was mind-blowing like my baby boy always wants to be in the kitchen when i'm in there doing stuff i was letting him a little bit but he kind of blanked out and stuck his hand up and burnt the tip of his finger on the stove so after that I was like no we're gonna back off you know but I do let him do the dishes and stuff with me but he's been over here washing his dishes and turning his burners on and mixing his egg up in his pots and chopping his vegetables I mean little chef I'm telling you Chloe she's been more into you know the the chair and the all and the she's little doodad toys she does like the kitchen but Colton like this is his jam right now he I'd say since seven this morning, seven hours today, he was over here playing with his kitchen set. So that was a score. Mm -hmm. Colton is, how do I say this? He loves to pilfer. He loves to go through cabinets, drawers, like Chloe, she could care less. Colton loves to pilfer. So this is like pilfer heaven for that child. <laughs> he doesn't get told no, he can do what he wants to. Yeah, he's in he's in heaven with his all of their stuff. They got their bicycles. Obviously, they ain't gonna be able to ride right now. Maybe it's supposed to be back up in the 50s later this week. Supposed to be, if it no, is. No, it's supposed to be 60 <laughs> Friday. Yeah, we might be able to let them get out on the front driveway here and ride a little bit, but mostly that'll be for spring. But yeah. they had a really good Christmas. We had a really good Christmas. We had a great dinner that Tur turkey was falling off the bone it, it pretty much good. melted right off the bone it, it was, was really good and i we didn't put it in a bag i just wrapped it with aluminum foil because we had some bags they're here somewhere i'll find them tomorrow i think the thing is we usually use a big silver tray and this time all we had was the little ones because we forgot to get one yeah. and it kept that juice that all turkey just it. cooking in that juice so it was so full it was boiling over yeah mm -hmm. i gotta clean the stove now because well, Sean, off. Sean set the smoke alarm off today. Yeah, we should have got that on camera. Yeah. It wasn't from bad cooking. It was just because the it boiled over. It Here it is. Burnt. 20 degrees, and I had to open the doors. Cause everybody was like, <laughs> he's like, you're going to freeze us out. We can't breathe. So we had to open the doors and let the smoke out in 20 degrees. I dread seeing my electric bill, y'all. My auxiliary heat has been running for days. I dread it because last month it was what 500 and so you can thing, only it imagine even, what it's going to be next time i'm scared like honestly even with that auxiliary heat if it wasn't for his propane it would have been cold in here yeah our it would only get it to what 62 is as warm as it would get it in his house central air is it's just cold, not like warm not in temperatures like this like dead winter like late december january february furnaces just i mean uh, heat pumps they don't do that great they don't we have always had propane 
and I think no matter what, we always will. This heater, as long as we can, you can buy inserts if something tears up, so we'll probably always have this heater. I don't know, I'd like to get me one of them big wood boilers. You know? I'd like to have a wood stove, because you know what? Propane can run out, too. We got plenty of property we can pull trees down on. And uh, actually, we've got plenty of wood. trees that have already fallen mm -hmm. that we could chop up for wood right now and let season. Oh, there's a year, a whole season's worth of wood sitting back here. That's fell back on our property back here. Two of them fell because of the flood, and that one was enormous, huge. All I'd have to do is just cut down a couple of trees a year and let them you set. Would... Well, you have to keep cutting them down and have them ready. Just take a little work. Yeah, know. it would take it would take work, that's for sure. But eventually, I I'd would get a wood splitter. <laughs> yeah, would. straight up. Eventually, I would like to have a wood stove. Just better be safe than sorry, because you know propane. That could run out too mm -hmm. someday, you never know. You know, it's crazy times we live in. I don't trust anything anymore. But anyhow, y'all, it is 8 o'clock. My bunkins just went to bed. I just reset their area. I am pooped and ready to just unwind for an hour. And then I'm taking my behind to bed. Because you know what? Tomorrow's Monday. Christmas break is over. It's time to get back at it work-wise. Uh, the business and everything. I got the a lot of going. emails to respond to about the custom. Yeah, we do a lot. Well, guys, we love y'all. <laughs> Until the next time. Stay positive, guys. Stay country. Stay true to your roots. And one last time, hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. God bless y'all, each and every one. <laughs>